And here we are with part two of the Q&A. Umau Hawaii, I'm Lily, let's do part two. Bananas, turmeric, lelikoi. Next question, do I use soap? How do I feel about people using soap? I don't usually use soap and I'm going to do a video in the near future about my whole beauty routine and how I take care of all of this. <laughs> I know it's nothing special, but it's, it's better than it was supposed to be, genetically speaking. So do I use soap? Yes and no. I use soap on my armpits because I have a job where I cannot smell like a stinky human being. I have to smell like fresh field of lavender when I come to work. So, yes, I use soap on my armpits. I use Dr. Bronner's lavender soap. That's what Levi uses too. I do use shampoo on my head. I used to use lemon juice and it worked really, really well, but lemon juice does not remove salt water from my hair, so I have to use shampoo when I swim in the ocean. I use all natural organic shampoo with no funky parabens or sulfates or anything like that. I do not use soap on all of the other parts of my body, even my face. Um, I've had horrible acne my whole entire life, just like cystic, really uncomfortable, horrible acne um, that was amazingly improved by diet and drinking a lot of water, but I, I don't wash my face. I noticed that my acne got so much better when I stopped washing my face. What I do is I exfoliate a lot. I have one of those like three foot long scrubby um, things so you can like put it behind your back and stuff and really get in there and I scrub my face with that in the morning and at night and I scrub the rest of my body. I also dry brush sometimes and that's how I keep my skin clean. I don't like to use the soap and strip all the oils off of my skin because I've noticed that I get really dry skin. I'm also have really sensitive skin so I'm prone to like rashes and stuff if I get weird chemicals on me. So I just like to keep it as natural as possible. What are my New Year's resolutions? Well, in the past I definitely made some but this year I just consciously said, you know what, you're doing pretty good. So just keep doing what you're doing. My New Year's resolutions in the past have been like, get a six pack, stop eating gluten, only eat raw foods for 45 days. <laughs> Didn't go well. I just, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a consistent person. Or, well, I guess I am a really consistent person, but there's a limit to the consistency that I can have. I'm not gonna get up and go run five days a week, every week, because there are gonna be mornings where I wake up and I'm like, I really don't wanna do this, and so I don't make myself do it. Or there are times where I'll be eating raw food for a few days, and I'll be like, I really want a bowl of beans and rice. And so I have a bowl of beans and rice because I can't, I can't do that like restrictive, crazy, goal-oriented, oh, I have to reach this goal or I'm just going to slit my wrists. I can't do it. I just want to enjoy my life. So I guess my only New Year's resolution is to just keep enjoying my life as much as I possibly can. My one professional goal is to get a website up to go along with Umau Hawaii YouTube channel so that I can do online coaching and a little bit more interaction with you guys. So expect that sometime within the next 11 and a half months. So this kind of goes along with the whole thing. How do I afford expensive clothes? So as you guys may notice that I wear a lot of like Lululemon and Ohm Girl and Tonic and I buy them all secondhand. I have really good luck finding excellent clothes secondhand and when I find them, I take really good care of my clothes. So like, my friend actually gave me this Lululemon top to trade me for giving her a massage. And I got these pants at the Salvation Army for like $3. And I got the bra that I'm wearing from Goodwill in Washington about four and a half years ago. The other thing is that I used to practice at a really uppity yoga studio really often. And I knew some people from there and I was friends with them on Facebook. And one day one of them said, I'm cleaning out my closet. Ah, so crazy. And I posted like, if you'd like to donate to the Lily Has No Clothes Fund, feel free. And she brought me like this huge bag of, you know, $80 yoga pants and $60 yoga tops and just gave them to me. And I've been wearing those for the last three years. And then the next year she brought me another bag because she cleaned out her closet. So that's where I got all of my expensive yoga clothes. Okay, 
So a few quick little extras. We'll do these ones faster, fast, fast, fast. Next up, what is the tattoo on my wrist? This is my own design. I am not communist. I don't like to go surfing and I'm not the Grim Reaper. This design came from when I was a kid. It's all about like me and this oak tree that I absolutely loved and it got struck by lightning and it exploded and then my parents cut it down and then in the middle of the tree was like literally this signal like right in the middle in the core and I wrote it down and I carried it with me always and then I was driving down the street with my friend one time in New York and she was like let's go get tattoos and I was like okay let's do it I know exactly what I'll get and I got this. Do I kill bugs? I kill bugs that are either trying to bite me or carry disease. So I kill the fuck out of mosquitoes all the time. I kill cockroaches. I don't kill other bugs if I can help it. If I find like a cute little beetle in the house, I take it outside. If I find a moth, I try to catch it and release it. Um, but mosquitoes and cockroaches I, and centipedes. Mosquitoes, cockroaches, centipedes, if you get near me, I am not compassionate towards you. Do I meditate? I, I have a meditation cushion, but do I use it? No. I mean, I sit on it, but I don't meditate on it because I don't, I've never really connected with that. Like, I mean, I can sit here, don't get me wrong, but I'm making a to-do list. So I do meditation in other ways. Like I go out and I float in the ocean, go swimming, bike ride meditation, garden meditation. But I don't really do the sit there and watch my own thoughts meditation. And I know that the reason that I would do that is because I'm really busy. But the reason that I don't do that is because I'm really busy. Do I eat honey? No, I don't eat honey. It's bee vomit. It's really acidic. It gives me crazy blood sugar swings. And... I do, I feel really bad for the bees. Bees are in trouble and the bees will not be helped by me eating their vomit. If I have a recipe that calls for honey, I use brown rice syrup. It's brilliant. And why do I say make better choices for yourself? I say that somebody said that it was condescending. I don't think so. It's like make better choices. It's not make the best choice every time and you have to be that rigid and perfect all the time otherwise all is lost. It's just make better choices. Like look at your day and say how can I do a little bit better? How can I drink a little bit more water? How can I replace this meal with something that's better? How can I live with a little bit more integrity? How can I stand up for myself? How can I say no when I mean no? It's all these things that are always changing, you know? I don't always make the same choice. It all depends on the day. It all depends on the best that I can do at that moment. And it's not perfect. It's never perfect. I say that because you don't have to make the best choice. I say that because you do your best to make the better choice and make the better choice that will improve your life, the lives of those around you, and our gorgeous world. And I think this was in the last Q&A that we did, but what is my career? I'm a massage therapist. This is my office where I practice. Um, it is my space, my business. I run it. Yes, I'm happy about that. I really love being self-employed. It's one of the best things I ever did for myself. I've been a massage therapist for going on four years. Um, it was totally accidental career choice. I went to massage school in Costa Rica at the Costa Rica School of Massage Therapy. I got to study with some really awesome teachers. I had some really amazing classmates. I learned a lot and I really got to indulge my inner dork and go crazy on anatomy and physiology. I love my job, I get to help people feel better every day, and I get to plant little thought seeds about going vegan in them. So get out there and make some better choices. Put your health, your happiness, the future of the planet first, and go vegan. Join the cult. It's a great cult. We make the best Kool-Aid. Smoothie Kool-Aids.